All right, I have got some uh, window film that I got a really good deal on from, from uh, Amazon. It was a UV protected privacy and insulating film. And it's just like a clear smoke color. Now the hardest part about this, um, it comes in big rolls, right? And trying to peel back the layer gets really tough when it sticks right to the top corner. So when you're trying to peel it back, that's the toughest part. But I, uh, and around these windows, it gets kind of tough because you got the knob here, the locking knob. So I did not do the top one yet. And then you kind of see a little bit of the color difference. I did this window, um, which was a little more challenging. And then over here, let me show you, I already did the first main window right here. So it actually came out pretty good. Um, you can kind of, I don't know if you can, you can kind of see the difference in the color. But um, this stuff works pretty good. So, and from the outside, let's take a look and see how well it looks. So it's like a mirrored color on the outside. Kind of see, it's not really much of a color, I should say, but you can see how it's mirrored. The difference between that and this. So, I mean, you can still see, and if you really get up and look closely, but all in all, it came out pretty good so far. So a um, couple bubbles here and there, but I used the heat gun and the squeegee and it did a really good job. I find the bigger windows are actually easier to do if you have a helper. So let's get back over here. And so I had, what I did is I cut this, you know, about an inch or two wider than the actual window. Got some soapy water here. Spray the back of the film, spray the window real good. I have a couple of different squeegees. I'm using this one here. It's got a felt tip on it just to push all the water out. And then this one's actually really easy because there's no obstructions here. It's just straight window. There's no knobs or any anything in the way. I find this super satisfying. I don't know about you guys, but I did this in my old house that I had. 10 years ago and the stuff worked really well it was a gila brand and just got that from home depot but i have a couple bigger windows in the front i'm just i'm not going to use this stuff on it because this this is only the big window in the front's like 30 oh well, it's actually it's over it's over 48 inches i think it's like 50 inches wide so i have to get like a bigger bigger size for that um so I just kind of wanted to do, I have a lot of windows here in the kitchen, six windows, and then I have the big door wall, and then I did two in the bathroom back there. But it just looks better. It just helps keep, you know, things insulated a little bit better, and obviously privacy, especially at nighttime. More for the privacy for the front, but um, just a peace of mind, and UV protected from those UV rays getting in, and I mean, there's not really too much here that's going to get messed up. But if you have like a lot of furniture and things like that, leather probably, and direct sunlight, or just furniture that you don't want to get um, any UV rays on. So that's pretty much how this works. This is going pretty good. And then I'll trim it up here in a second. Get a good razor blade. That's something that's super helpful. And if you clean the glass really well. So what I did is I just... Uh, I can't find it now, but I had a razor blade that I used. Um, no, this is not the same one, but spray it real good. Go up and down like this, and then back and forth. Clean it really good, and then use a microfiber towel. I didn't have one, so I just use a soft hand towel. Clean it off really good, and then blow it off with the air compressor to get all those fuzzies off, because that's when you're going to have issues. So... And then you're gonna, you're gonna see as you're getting closer, you may not be able to see too much, but up close, you're gonna see a lot of those little bubbles coming out. So just push them to the side. And then I used a hair dryer as well to help. So here's my razor blade. I like the X-Acto knives a little bit better, but this is all I had right now. And it's very, 
you know, delicately, but um, be very careful because sometimes there's a little lip, a little rubber lip on the inside of this that can make it difficult to squeegee. So what, what I find is it's easiest when there's a defined line between the frame and the glass. This is gonna look pretty good though. One-handed, a little bit tougher. But, there we go. Oh, gotta get that other edge. Okay, there you go. So, that's how it's looking so far. Really crisp, right up to the edge. And then I'll get the bubbles, the rest of the bubbles out with my squeegee. So, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.